Frustration and anger from the family of a beloved grandfather allegedly shot and killed by a teenager. Now she is out of jail. And as News Channel 5's Chris Conti explains, it's all because of donations from complete strangers. State versus Maisha Brown. She made her choice. If choice was at all still a part of the equation, then surely none of these people would have been inside courtroom 60 in Nashville today. Are you ready and willing to be the body company for Maisha Brown? If Maisha Brown looks like a teenager, that's because she is. She's 17 years old. When she was 16 years old, police say she inexplicably shot and killed Rushan Wang as he was taking out the trash. Since then, Maisha has remained behind bars on a $100,000 bond. We didn't just put this out there um, to people that we didn't know. That was, though, until today. Everybody that I know on here for my, for my national network have jobs. Well, when before a judge, three different witnesses explained how over the last few months they've crowdsourced the $10,000 needed for Maisha to bond out. Do you put the GoFundMe page just out to the general public or do you target individuals that you think might be donors. The judge eventually determined the money didn't appear to come from an illegal source. So Rushin Wang's family sat, watched, and listened as it became clear the girl who allegedly killed their family's patriarch would be getting out of jail. It's, it's hard to imagine a teenager will do such a cruel thing. Um, and for us, we were sad that her life is thrown away in such an early age. Yoon Wang and his mom accept what happened today. They're just worried that given Maisha's criminal past, she might reoffend. We uh, truly believe she poses danger to the community. But in a case where choice was long removed from the equation, this is now the path they're all on. We can only hope that other people don't follow her path. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Maisha Brown has been ordered to wear a GPS monitoring bracelet, and she cannot leave the state of Tennessee while out on bond.